All right, so you were saying the permit here for this... Um, the permit for where we just left ended at 4 p.m. With the Veterans March here? That's correct. That was and awesome. um, we've been told that if you don't want to join the Black Block, you need to walk this way. And there are about, uh, my estimate, I mean, this could be, I could be very wrong, but there's about five or 6,000 riot cops that way. The way that they're telling people not in the Black Block to go? Yes, that's correct. Uh, cops on horses, there's all the regular Chicago PD in riot gear, and then a block back beyond behind a fence is our state police, and then behind the wall of state police is our state police in riot gear. Okay. The uh, superintendent, McCarthy, or whatever, said this morning at the press conference that he expected everyone to leave at four. They thought that everyone would. Yeah. Um, I don't know this. So. I don't think we're leaving at four. I don't think we're done yet. Do you think there's any threat of like tear gas? Um, some I think they're prepared for it. Okay. I think they're definitely prepared for it. I mean, if you look at them, I, yeah. I noticed you can always tell who's guys. prepared for a riot by who's dressed for it. So. Yeah, I noticed pretty much all of these guys have uh, gas masks by their side there. All of them. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they'll hesitate to use tear gas. No. I don't either. That's what they're gonna. They're still they equipment. Are equipment. They're what? Yeah, <laughs> okay. All right. What are they doing down there? They're about to like march you. I need a beer. Oh, really? need oh the black block is getting ready Thanks, to march guys. into the cops. They're going the opposite way. They're going where the cops don't want them to go. Black block. his crocodile tears, those didn't move me at all. What moved me is the guy I was helping to stand up, holding
holding his tooth in his mouth. That's what moved me, okay? No black blocker put out a cop's tooth. I just want to give our, I want to give all of the organizers, including myself, you know, a pat on the back. A year ago when we started this, literally no one knew about NATO. The war in Afghanistan kid in blue. They were getting hit, but there was a kid in orange, there was a kid in blue, there was a kid in a white shirt, and they just were, they were just, they, they were smacking anybody that was close enough for their batons. But wouldn't police say that once they're provoked? Oh. Really? Is that really, is that really police training? If somebody provokes you, you get to beat them up? Thank you, the police are supposed to be the professionals. They're supposed to be in control. Airmen, army, so, you know, soldiers, sailors, you know, that's not the training. They're supposed to be above it. But they have been warned. And that's the thing that but the police are the professionals. They're supposed to be in control. When your kid behaves, you beat your kid up. The area. They didn't say, if you don't move, we're going to beat the shit out of you. They said, if you don't move, you will be arrested. Uh, but they did not do that. That's different. They that's what McCarthy that. said up until two weeks ago. And last week, there was a confrontation where the police um, uh, uh, basically came in an unprovoked way against three young people. And in that video, which is on YouTube, you can find it, one of the cops said, Billy Club against your head. And they pointed at each one of those three young people. The police have been preparing for this mentally, physically, emotionally, preparing to beat us up for a year. This is the violence that NATO is, that NATO brings with them. They, they, uh, they come to Chicago and we get police uh, attacking protesters. Joe, what's next? Well, the, the next thing is we have to stop the occupation of Afghanistan. The, the president went, went to Afghanistan two weeks ago and said, don't worry everyone, we're getting out of here, except we're gonna, it's going to take us three years to draw down the 100,000 troops. Oh, and then we're going to keep some undis undetermined amount of troops here for another 10 years on the 300 bases that we have in Afghanistan. It's, he's going. He's intending to leave somewhere upwards of 50,000 troops there. This is going to be Korea. We're going to have. We're going to have troops there for another decade. That is an occupation. So what's your plan? Chicago's plan for next? Well, I, I think what you saw yesterday was a re-emergence of the anti-war movement. Not only was this a, a local demonstration. This was mostly people with a 606 zip code. But we had people from all over the country and around the world. And uh, I think this is going to result in a, a new wave of anti-war protests. NATO is the military wing of the G8. They're the, they're the muscle of the international 1%. You have to come to Chicago. We have just educated an entire generation of, of the movement. They understand you can't just fight for your interests and your economic needs. We live in an empire. We, we oppress people. We, the United States government, oppresses people all over the globe. And those people hate our government for that. And we have a responsibility, those of us who live here, to take a stand against that. When, when, uh, when President Obama and Rahm Emanuel invited NATO and the G8 here, they did it before Tahrir Square. They did it before Madison, Wisconsin. They did it before Occupy Wall Street. And now Chicago has once again added our name to that pantheon of cities. When you say the name of Chicago, everyone is going to say, oh, that's where the protest against NATO took place. Absolutely. Um, we held a family-friendly protest. At the end of it, whatever provocation took place, the response by the police was outrageous. Period. The indiscriminate beating with the, the nightsticks, the just 
targeting the, 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 of the, the blue wall that he said would not push against a line did. Exactly. He promised, McCarthy promised this wouldn't happen, and they didn't act uh, out of control. He ordered them to start swinging. The CPD is trained to treat civilians like this, but they don't attack without command. They're very disciplined. Very disciplined. They attacked under McCarthy's command. I would put money on it. Uh, I, I think this was a success. And on the one hand, they're not beating us up, but I'm not going to thank them for not beating us up. They've got, I mean, how many cops do you think are here? A couple thousand? I think this is un unbelievable levels of intimidation. Um, the Occupy movement has no history of violence in Chicago, period. None whatsoever. Neither, neither does the anti-war movement. The police are the only ones with a history of violence. I'm very proud at the coalition we were able to assemble. I'm very proud. You know, last summer when we started the coalition, I actually spoke at the founding meeting, and I said, when the people of Chicago realize who NATO is and what the G8 is, is that they would march in their tens of thousands against these people because the G8, the bankers of the world, I mean, we all know the financial crisis was caused by the bankers. And then the generals, not just the Pentagon, but all the generals were coming here for a meeting. And, the, and, the, and you know, I live in my neighborhood, my old neighborhood, Logan Square. I mean, there are kids who died every, every month in Afghanistan. So when people realize who these people are, I said there would be a giant march uh, of tens of thousands of people. And it happened. Even an estimate on how many people We have a count. We have 15,000 people. 15,000 people. Joe Lombardo from the United National Anti-War Committee Coalition stepped out of line at the, at the front of the line at the intersection of Michigan and Roosevelt Road and counted noses for the next 30 minutes. 15,000 kids. Hi, I'm Vermin Supreme, and whenever I'm watching some sort of moving images on a screen, it's in the media for sure. I am a soldier who survived the fear of facing Uncle Sam and saying, sir, no sir. I won't fight for lies. Forgive me, wounded soldier, for not being there to ease your pain. 
I'll try on this end to bring you home now. Fucking 